Uh, chick. Yo. Oh, damn. Oh, oh shit. Hey. Oh, oh, fuck. Party oh, edition. Gosh dang, gosh darn it. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, hey. Game Welcome. It's a game zone. Experience graphics like you've never seen it's before. It's a game zone. In the game zone. Uh, game zone. At your local Walmart now. The next, I, I think I just thought of the next, the next great business idea. Put arcades in Walmarts. Claw machines no, in Walmart. No, no, no. I mean real arcade games like Donkey Kong, mm -hmm. Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. You can find anything at Walmart. Ah. <laughs> and you can find anything at the Bad Inputs Arcade today with just four easy tokens. You can hear about what we want to talk about. And what we're going to talk about <laughs> is on the list. But first, Elo, how are you doing? I'm good. Wait, on a list? On a list. Wait. List of what? Guess what? Guess what? Chicken butt. Shigeru Miyamoto's kiss is on my list. I don't know what that even... <laughs> Eloy, how are you doing? It's a song. It's a song. I don't know what that means. Kiss, your kiss is on my list, and then your kiss... What band? Your kiss. I don't fucking know. I heard the song. I think it was... Oh, that what it was? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's the fucking reference from the Family Guy. From the Family Guys. <laughs> Eloy, please talk. <laughs> from the Family Guy. <laughs> like ah. it's 2005 all over again. Oh, yeah, that's for Family Guy, right? <laughs> oh yeah totes oh shit oh good oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm good mm -hmm. uh yeah good uh that's all I got <laughs> but this is the nerd cast what this is been nerding out I've been nerding out on on shadow of a Mordor <laughs> oh yeah recently oh we got a Wait, here we, how do you we, like it? I don't know who okay yeah you got a I think it's you that you oh okay uh yeah so wait did you did you play did you play I thought you played Shadow of Mordor I tested it out did you like bit. it um I'm playing it now okay what so are you talking about? well I'm asking do you Shadow like it I'm just asking oh, if you like it okay yeah I thought you meant like did I like it when I tested it out or do <laughs> I like it that I'm playing it no now? just I mean do you like the game no I do when you I do it. it's kind of pissing me off because I want to kill all the stupid captains. That are fucking up my life. Oh, you gotta wait. And but uh it's so different from games that I play. But I like it. I like I like all that stuff. The combat system's off of awesome. Mm -hmm. I can see where like Bloodborne is like what what came first actually? Bloodborne or Shadow of Mordor? I wanna say Bloodborne. Okay. I wanna say Bloodborne came before that. It's kind of a different take on like the combat system. So like I kinda like I'm starting to like like it a little bit more. That's a different way of fighting people. Like, it's not it's not as uh, because with with Bloodborne, it, it, you don't really go into like a combat mode. It's mm -hmm. like you're still. It's like yeah. like your character sort of is just he walks and he attacks kind of thing. With Shadow Mordor, it yeah, kind of I when guess, you're like in a group, you're kind of more in a battle mode and then an explore mode. I guess what I'm saying it. is I kind of like starting to notice like different battle systems or like I don't know. How oh, just in general it. video yeah, games. Yeah, in general. So like I'm starting to. Um, I don't know, look for it a little bit more and kind of like, I'm, it's more engaging, I guess. It'd be more engaging. Right, the feeling out process is a lot easier yeah, than yeah. it was before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of understanding. Rather than just like, oh, what is this? Oh, I don't like doing this because I just don't know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's like, okay, let me try to like, yeah. get it down so I can kind of like, I can figure it out. And oh, you're a gamer good, now. Get good at you're it. You're a gamer. Yes. <laughs> no, it's like, that's cool. You're like, you're like understanding the nuance of like what you like from video games which yes. is that's like the best part of it is like once you figure that out then you can sort of like ask people okay hey I like X, Y, and Z what game would you recommend and like somebody can pinpoint to something a little more specific I see but yeah. wouldn't it suck like because you, you you were playing Horizon Zero Dawn oh. and then now Shadow Mordor and a lot of oh, oh, yeah see alright that, that little ting on the back of his neck he understands what it is oh I know and so imagine two similar properties and one of those guys called out the other person, like, oh, it's pretty much the same thing, just a different layout of yeah. it. And that's yeah. kind of what's happening right now with Player Unknown and Fortnite. Mm -hmm. And there's a uh, some shade being thrown from the dudes at uh, PUBG. We'll just call him Swedish Charles, because I don't know his name. And uh, <laughs> Epic like Games for Fortnite, saying, because uh, Fortnite added a, a battle royale mode, pretty much. It's Player Unknown. This seems like cartoon. a team PUBG and team. Fortnite type of thing. Well, what team are you on? Uh, I'm Puga, dude. <laughs> what? Say a lot of we're pro. Puga. Puga. We gotta, I think we gotta Puga play team. Fortnite. <laughs> we gotta play Fortnite before, because none of us have played Fortnite. Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. really, from what you showed me, a little bit of what you showed me, it looks really um, 
cartoony. Mm-hmm. It looks like uh, something that didn't really have a plan to dive into this genre, especially when it first came out. I think that's why it's even more shocking because it was like, okay, we're going to stay our own, own lane, make this kind of tower defense slash plants versus zombies shooter kind of game that you play with your friends and waste time. But hey, uh, we kind of, what's happening over yonder? Oh, okay. Royale gaming. Cool. Mm. Let's just tip our, tip our finger on that and see what we get. And it, positive results blew up but the part that sucks is gta they're doing the same thing what it's, it's called like assault mode or some shit like that mm, they have a PUBG like mode that just came out mm-hmm. very strange um i mean did would you guys i don't know i feel like i would have expected this sooner agreed mm-hmm. actually agreed so i don't know why it's like becoming a big thing now it's, especially from gta um, like in in uh like multiplayer mode or something mm-hmm. it's but it, well, PUBG is sort of to be honest, PUBG sort of started it. it the, develop, the devs did when they said something. So, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, this mode has been around for a while. There's games like a game called The Culling, which is basically sort of the same thing as Player Unknown Battlegrounds, where it's very Hunger Games esque. You have to find weapons and you can go around and kill people. You can get armor. And there's a little electric force field that closes in, closes in, forces the game to get closer and closer with the more people die. Mm-hmm. So, so, this is nothing new that's been in games. And PUBG just did it the best. Yeah. And for some reason, they have this sort of mentality that because they're the best at doing it, that they have the right to tell people that they can't do the same thing they're doing. And and it's sort of what in the hell? Well, that's well, trying to monopolize. And they're exactly. Using the that's the game you. industry. They're using the, the the engine to make the animations and shit. Oh, did they it's really? The same as it's the epic. Uh, really? Engine. What's the en- oh, so is is it at an engine just open to somebody who has the funds for it? Or it's Epic Games engine. Oh shit! Yeah. So like they honestly, if they're so petty, they could be like, oh, that's all right. We pull it off. Sorry, lawsuit. Boom. If they're that petty, well, so that's why I even now like, I know, it's kind of like buying the hand that feeds. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's what the situation is right now. Mm-hmm. It just it just is weird. I mean, this is not very like in in an industry. Especially just with media in general, you sort mm. of there's a lot of copycats. When something is done well, there's going to be people who try to emulate it all the time. So if you do a a Royale game mm-hmm. well, expect people to try to copy the same thing. Like it, it's like I, I I get where PUBG is coming from, and from a sense of like we we like the fact that we feel very unique and that we're our own brand. Yeah, but it's like you got you can't come after another studio for just mm-hmm. sort of having. Like, seeing your success and going, well, let's try and do something a little bit different with it. Like, because every studio, every... I bet there are 15 Minecraft clones on Steam that I could find right now. There's one on PlayStation that's free I can find right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you will look at that on Bad Inputs Jeez. slash Trove or whatever that... was it? Trove, uh, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, it's been done before, and it's like... I just... I don't understand the, the pettiness. And he's right. It could have been worse. But it still sucks that they had to comment and see it be like... Hey, they're copying us. Like that's mm. kind of in, I'm obviously paraphrasing, but that's pretty much what they said. Dave Chappelle did that. What do you, what do you mean? mean? He was uh, on. What do you mean, homie? He was on. Uh, he was doing one of his stand-ups on Netflix, and he was like, "Yeah, uh, fuck Key and Peele because they copied my whole sketch thing and blah 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 and bullshit." And oh shit. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, sort of, but sketch Damn. comedy's been around forever. Yeah, that's 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 the thing is. We'll say apparently same thing with this thing right well but like i don't know i'm not really sure how, where that comes from it's like oh man they did it like i did i don't like i, I was like just my content and stuff i was making not like the content i was making but like the format yeah the format yes much. yes Cause that's why i, I couldn't kind of get into key and peel mm-hmm. i was like this is kind of like a watered down Chappelle show i guess it like is the only black comedian blah 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 and especially a lot of the jokes they go for i'm like okay <laughs> like, do they yeah. have to? Yeah. See, that, that's, it felt like force. That, 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 that's where I was thinking is like it, it feels like more like it's it's black comedians doing a sketch comedy show rather than just because like because that's because by anything what is it uh, well, I can't remember the name uh, of Mr. Show I think it was uh, with Bob Odenkirk and David Cross mm-hmm. like they they would be, they could do the same thing and go oh Chappelle sold the same thing because they go up on stage to do a small stand up bit mm-hmm. and talk about what's going to go on in the show and then they do skits. Yeah. It's yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So it's like Chappelle going after them is I almost feel like it's like, oh man, they, they're black comedians doing stand up comedy with skits and yeah. stuff. Like, I don't know yeah. what it is, but yeah. it's. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah almost petty. every comedian who has a show does that type of format. Absolutely. 
And it's just the one that's most popular right now. Yeah, they, Tosh.0 I mean, pretty much was like the, the internet TV version. version of Ray William Johnson. Yeah, yeah. exactly. What was happening on ridiculousness there. came out back oh, then. Yeah, ridiculousness about, copied. Uh, oh god, terrible. Ridiculousness copied. Yeah, Tosh.0. Tosh. Yeah. 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 For some reason, I mean, it was funny as Tosh.0 and Ridiculousness got some of their stuff from stuff like uh, Scarred. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, like it was, pretty was, much YouTube putting on TV. Exactly, it's, that's all it was back then. There's a whole lineage of, of stuff being. So copied. let me ask you a question then. Now with PUBG, uh, Fortnite, what do you think is going to be the most popular in like the next six months? PUBG, PUBG still. Yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna. I think Fortnite is gonna be. It's a cool idea, but it's one of those. It, it's because PUBG has already been sort of crowned as the best I feel in this in this sense that it mm. it's like a Mario ish thing. Maybe not to that extent, but it's like when you make a platformer that isn't something with a Mario brand on it, yeah. It's gonna just it might do well, mm-hmm. but it's never gonna do as well as that one right above it that sort of spurned the whole thing. And also when people talk shit to each other, it usually dies down. Nothing really happens. That, that too. It's just words. Fifty yeah. Cent, Kanye West. Oh, back in the day. Big money. <laughs> Ten years. <laughs> uh, so that, we, I wonder, no, that's true too. How could we? Because I want to approach this in a different type of fashion rather than us just gushing over it. So I'm gonna hold it like this, like in some type of <laughs> WWE wrestler. Uh, we have to do a uh, elevator slash sales pitch to you, a consumer, a friend. I like playing games. Yes. To I'm your friend. Yes, by Destiny Two. Destiny. How, how two. long is this? So elevator pitch. So as in like thirty seconds. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm oh. just like walking through, and then I find mm-hmm. an elevator. Oh, my next floor. <laughs> <laughs> Stop me up. By Destiny. <laughs> Look at us. We got some words for you, brother. <laughs> we come from the clan of the future war, and we're here to tell you great ah. things about a game called Destiny Two. Now, everything you heard about Destiny 1 is great. Now, things were not like, but they did their job and fixed it, which is mm-hmm. apparent in the second one. Yes. And you yes. have friends to play it with because everyone will have this console as opposed to when the PlayStation 4 came out when Destiny first came out. And there's never ending things to do. Yes. Seriously. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, you just can do all the things. Um, I saw Destiny 2. Mm-hmm. And I love that game just from looking at it. Like, I was watching Mason play. What's it called? Like a nightfall? A boob? No. Nightfall strike? Something Tick. like it happens like every once in a while. Like everybody. Like, hey. <laughs> a raid. Some, raid. Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, in God's name. <laughs> You guys weren't putting syllables to your words. I couldn't. I just didn't <laughs> I remember, remember Ray, the word. Ray. 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 <laughs> I was like, all right. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just make the joke. So, <laughs> the raid The raid was interesting. It seemed mm. like a heist type of scenario. Yeah. We have Everybody to. Everybody had their own little thing, and it seemed like a pain in the ass, but a lot mm-hmm. of fun. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, yeah. Well, it's, cool. the, it's the teamwork, and because it's so difficult, once you get there, it's like, it's sort of Bloodborne ish, and not in the. I'm not comparing it as Destiny, it's a Dark Souls. First part, anyway, <laughs> it it is sort of that way of you conquer something. And it's like ah, yeah. And the yeah. best part about it is that for the raid, it's nothing that's easy. That it definitely is building up to the point of you band together with five other people, strangers sometimes, and doing this task. Uh, for God's sakes, me and Colin, after this podcast is over, we have to look at maps. Mason told me that we had that's to look at saying, a few Mason, maps for the dog part. Mason and Brandon like knew this. This, uh, <laughs> the hell? There's like like dogs patrolling, right? Yeah, and like all like, this stuff. Yeah, so I was so watching this shit. Two people are going like, to be like Batman and Superman, and four people have to sneak past like yeah. guard dogs or some shit. I haven't seen it, but I just heard so about Brandon it. So Brandon and Mason so had yeah, to we have two maps we have to review. Pretty much explain the whole team, the, like what the whole <laughs> uh, concept was. Mm-hmm. Like Brandon was like, okay, I'm going to be the leader of the team that attacks to save you guys. Mm-hmm. And then Mason was the guy who was leading the whole transporting the item over. So they both had to know the map. They both had to know the spots of where to be hidden and not mm-hmm. get captured and then when to go so that they can work together to help each other reach the goal. Yeah. And like, it was fucking crazy. Like, they sat there, literally, they sat there maybe about, like, I was only there for a little bit, but maybe, like, 20, 30 minutes explaining how to do it, the times mm-hmm. of when they were going to come. Mm-hmm. And then right when it got to the thing, to, to the um, starting the raid, everything just hit the fan and you know they died many times because it was just yeah. that difficult but it's, like it, was... it looked like a lot of fun you do have to know your shit though absolutely like, yeah. 
And then the gun variety is just as good. It's kind of it falls in line with player unknown is and Fortnite also of this concept of it's gambling at the same time you're having fun. Yeah. And it's what makes shooting loot such a great genre that you only have Oh, oh no. Oh shit. I thought that was Is that the alcohol? Oh, yes. shit. Oh, okay. Well at least the bottle didn't shatter. Let me let me yeah. uh, yeah, see, like speaking of gambling, what if you're drinking a vodka and it spills on your slot machine? You don't want to get up from it because you've just been winning the whole time. That's kind of what it feels like I on Destiny too. I would, I would have my hand covered in vodka and just pull, like, keep pulling the slot. <laughs> like it sucks. We can't talk about it much longer because we have a lot of stuff to talk about. But geez, I think what we, how many hours do you think we put into it? Oh man, I, I would imagine already forty, fifty, and yeah. in like a couple of weeks, and that's and that's like. And that's just from us playing until like playing. We had like an eight-hour session and then, like four-hour oh, sessions. Oh, dude, man. we had yeah. You were here till like one in the morning when you got here like six. I was like, I guess I should go home. <laughs> <laughs> this game is like, yes, this game is crack. Like I, I it's not, I'm like that's the if I were gonna go into an elevator pitch, this is what I would say. Yeah. Imagine you playing Star Wars. But you have amazing guns. You get to fly everywhere. You get your own personal pod racer. You get to kill all the aliens you want. You get to look like a fucking superhero. Yeah. And uh, you're going to pretty much play for eight hours with some of your best friends. That's I, that, that would, I mean, that's, that's as best as I could probably put that in like a summarization. It's not even pay to play either. That's tight. That's tight. No, it's only cosmetic. Yeah. And you still get the... the- so you get bright ingrams, which are used to get some of the really cool stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah, I don't have to unplug it. You get bright ingrams, not Brandon ingrams, and they allow you to like turn in your stuff for more rare stuff. And once you reach the level cap of 20, you get bright ingrams oh, whenever you level up. Yep. And so there's really no need to even buy anything unless you're looking to get like a certain emote or like a, a color for your armor. Yeah. And that's all I got to say about that. Without spoiling it, if you guys missed the Halo series and wish it went back to what it was story-wise, there are a lot of moments in that game where it feels like Halo. Oh, and yeah. The guns feel awesome, too. You never feel out of control shooting it. Not really, no. Unless it's, it's a dope. fusion rifle. I hate fusion rifles. Shit is tight. So have we sold you on it? Yeah. Will you play with us? This is the first yes. game I think I've probably purposely played with like a good amount of people with yeah. a huge group of people since yes maple story yes this would be the same for me except yes halo i 3. played maple story <laughs> <laughs> maple um, I, I, think, I think it's the same for me i think the last time i played an online game to this extent was halo 3 mm-hmm. so it's kind of great that like that was the that was the one game that got me i was like oh, i like online gaming now like and it brought it back it brought it back at me so i'm yeah definitely okay. evil, evil if you can okay. get your hands on that game yeah Yes. I want to... Yes. So, uh, yeah, Volition can, Studios, I want to touch upon. Yeah. Just minorly. Whose studios is Volition? It's that's, my studio, baby. <laughs> uh, what have so, you done? Uh, You're laying off all these people. Sorry. So, a long time ago, Spoilers. I was a, a, a young lass that was able to get an Xbox 360 young after lass. begging upon young wee lass, his parents, to just get him one, please. And then I found out that you need to have a good internet to play Xbox Live. I was like, I don't have that. Wi-Fi adapters, this whole thing. I was like, why am I joining this side of Microsoft? And then it was okay because I found out you can download demos. Yeah, that was the first time I've ever downloaded a demo for the first time, Eloy. I'm telling you the truth. And there's a game there called Saints Row. Uno? Mm-hmm. Mm. Very first run. I was like, what is this? It's like, yeah. Respect. Got to get this other thing up. Got to get this other thing up. I was like, it's Grand Theft Auto, but it does not take itself seriously. Mm-hmm. And I, that's when it entered my life for the first time. And unfortunately, just as a couple of days ago, skip forward a decade later, maybe eleven years, Volition Studios had some layoffs. Unfortunately, because uh, the most recent game that they're making, like Army, of, I don't even know what it's Agents called, of Mayhem. Agents yeah, Agents of Mayhem. It just did not perform well. Mm-hmm. You gotta uh, say uh, our condolences to those working there, and hopefully just bounce back mm-hmm. up on your feet. Yeah, I hope you guys find some work because you guys have made some pretty awesome games. I played uh, Saints Row Two. I don't think I was in the right mind space to appreciate that game. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I played Saints Row Three pretty recently. Yeah, awesome game. I had 
so much fun with it. It just yeah. didn't, and it and it took a lot of tropes at the time, and they made fun of them. Like there was a, a like a communication system thing, yeah. like a talking kind of talking tree thing in Mass Effect. Mm-hmm. But it didn't. There was no point to it, and like the the options were like were like. Yes. Oh my God. I love you. No. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and then the third option would be like, let's fuck. And, like, and it would just be anybody, like man or woman, robot, like, and because it was Mass Effect, so they're yeah. like, they're like, I like those little things. It, yeah. 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 They made yeah. fun of it, and then yeah, it was yeah. it was like Grand Theft Auto, and you could make your character into like a like a giant. You could you could turn him into like the the jolly green giant on the on like uh, the cover of all like like the the green pea or oh the corn yeah. Yeah, full of, like, vegetables in general, just canned vegetables. Oh, yeah, giant. you could make him look like that. You could make him look like anything you wanted to. I think that was the first game that I saw you doing on that. a spaceship. The president? I saw the first game. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. the first game that I saw you doing that. I was mm-hmm. like, whoa, what the fuck is this? I think it was before I saw um, Grand Theft Auto doing that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was pl- I was probably playing on 360 back in my yeah. room, like, like yeah, sitting I remember on the floor that. as yeah. always. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's why they thrived, because they were doing what GTA, they could do what they weren't, and also they weren't, releasing their games as frequently as Volition Studios were with Saints Row. Yeah. So that's why they, okay. kind of, they got the upper hand a little bit. I see. Until Grand Theft Auto V came out. And, Shout uh, out, everyone. It came out in this month. I don't fucking care if it's true or not, but it's a good transition <laughs> to, to October games 2017. Yeah, I was just that that coming up. out. Eloy. October games. Colin. Now, things are going to get a little bit dicey coming around these last few months of the year. A, we have to plan for Halloween. B, we have to plan for New Year's. Busy months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very, very busy lots months. of Lots of connections to be made and people to be talked to. We, and we might have vaginas at least... to cuddle to. <laughs> and so we need to find a way to what's going to be the best game in October 2017. We haven't touched because we're not in the biz yet, but we have the, the feeling. The eye of the gaming tiger to see what will be good or not. We got Assassin's Creed. Oh. We got Mario coming out soon. Oh. We got uh, the baby of Kylie Jenner and uh, fucking ooh, Travis ooh. Scott. Ooh. And so, <laughs> well, Colin, what do you got for us? They're going to name it four as a seven. Uh, uh, <laughs> they're going to call it. Uh, they're going to call it Tranner. Tranny. I can say that because we're not live. <laughs> 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 Tranny uh, Scott. Just call that straight up. <laughs> All right, so in October, and one of the games I'm going to talk about is very, is just pretty much right after October. But we start off October third, Forza Seven for the big uh, racing fans out there. Uh, October tenth, Shadow of War. So you okay. better hurry up on oh, Shadow yeah. of War. Oh yeah, beat it. Yep. Yeah, beat it. Uh, Evil Within Two, which is pretty good. I watched Mason play that, and I watched Markiplier play it. Pretty. It, it, there were good parts and bad parts, and if they can fix the bad parts, that would be one of the best horror games of the year. Um, South Park, the fractured butthole. Uh, <laughs> the first South Park game, the Stick of Truth. Yeah, one of the, one, just an awesome game. And if you're a South Park fan, you love it because mm. it's just South Park. Then just the 27th of October, Wolfenstein Two, oh, New shit. Colossus, which is going to be fucking awesome from what I've heard. Uh-huh. Assassin's Creed Origins after they took a good three year or something hiatus. We'll see. Oh, a little, little skeptical on that. I'm actually with you on the. I don't know. I man. don't fuck with Assassin's Creed. No fuck with me. I like it. <laughs> don't fuck with me. I don't like it. So I, I, we're neutral. And then October 27th, also Gender. Mario Odyssey. Ooh. Um. Then also Destiny 2 PC releases on is I think at the end of this mm-hmm. end of this month or somewhere in October. Give me my keyboard. Oh, snap. Yeah. I love my keyboard. My 64 buttons. <laughs> I'm trying to play v- video games. My 64 <laughs> shoulder buttons. It does say 4K 60 FPS. <laughs> like it doesn't said. mean anything. Those are just numbers. <laughs> <laughs> this is just numbers. I've this is not the right thing to combine with PC gaming. I know. So I will know. shut my mouth. <laughs> Uh, and then November third, ten fingers to play a fucking two. finger video game. What happened? Hey man, <laughs> PC. Just, don't that, hate though. on Gabe Newell. Gabe has tried his hardest. Okay. He looks like a young George R. R. Martin. He does actually. That is wow. <laughs> That's freaking me out. All so right. I'm excited. I was excited about Shadow of War. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And then all of a sudden, I realized that I haven't played Mordor yet. So I think I, I want to dig into Mordor first. I, All the microtransaction bullshit. That sucks. You guys, you, you take it. 
I'm trying to I'm this year I'm trying to like go as I don't know anything about the industry so I, I can enjoy stuff a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, not, not complain about every <laughs> awesome game that comes out. And not try to like break down so much shit like it was the last couple of year and a half. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I'm like, okay, I just want to try to approach everything from a fresh direction. Well, it's just it's just the gaming world we live in. I mean, if we're gonna keep complaining about. DLC where it's in a way pay to win, which is yeah. sort of shadow of war. But that's my thing. I've like, never I bought DLC twice. Yeah, and I've been gaming for gaming the microtransaction era for years. True, for years. Like I want to get and that's something. If you got like a, I got a buyer's premonition, whatever the hell I should say, or what you experience buyer's remorse off a of DLC, and it's probably not the first time you've done it. And that's the people that are True. complaining because they yeah. can't control it. Yeah. You know, which is a personal thing. Yeah, you kind of you kind of took the words right out of my mouth as I was thinking. I was like, this is this is only this only applies to people who are still wasting their money on DLC and then yeah. mad that they wasted money on DLC. Like, no one has your their dick near your mouth saying, fucking suck this yeah. micro shit or else you can't enjoy the video yeah, game. Absolutely. <laughs> there's a there's a there's an there was a video where I, I can't remember I'm sorry, but I cannot remember the person or company who had said this, but he, he had Phil Spencer basically with him and said, uh, when are you going to stop releasing ba- unfinished games and making people pay DLC for it? And they went when people stopped buying them. I was going to say, when people stop acting like they don't know what options are. Uh, right? <sighs> so yeah. what game in October are you excited yeah. for? Ooh. Child. Uh. I think I really want to see Mario, just because that's just something that's really new. I know I'm just joining the bandwagon for that. But I, I think really you and never. I was gonna say something. You're are you are you, are you his one up boy? What are you Mario's one up boy? I just want to see what that's like. I just want to know. I just to be his one up boy. And hopefully that leads to a you Luigi World be. game. But one can dream. You want to okay, Colin? What game are you excited <laughs> for? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean. Hey Mario, I got I, a video game I, finally. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's pieces on a it's six pieces, and you shuffle them around. And you try to form a puzzle. Uh, uh, it's so cool, brother. You like what I did? It's a puzzle game. <laughs> uh, I would honestly say the only thing I'm not excited for is Forza. Forza. That's it. Like, like mm-hmm. I played the shit out of Shadow of Mordor. I love the hell out of that game. That's why I recommended it to both of you. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. I really like Evil Within 2. Me personally playing it, I couldn't get into it, but I haven't mm. been much of a Resident Evil person anyway because it sort of comes off that way. Fucking love South Park. We still... And I need to try Wolfenstein. And I'm I need interested to... to see South Park as well, yeah. It'll, it's it's going to be funny. Mm-hmm. It, it, like, at the very least, it's going to be fair. It's going to be funny. Yeah. Did they get the dire wolf aids from King of Thrones, Game of Thrones? They, yes, they did. Okay, because yeah, I heard it in the first episodes, I was like... What dire makes a wolf die? What, what makes? Don't worry about it. What makes a wolf dire? I have no idea. Okay, I have no clue. <sighs> I would look it up. Jeez, yeah, you, make you, you guys dire. make me. You know what Game of Thrones makes me want to do? What? Fight people. You should watch it. You know what's cool about fighting people? Mm-hmm, Sometimes cool. you, your adrenaline just builds up, right, Colin? Your adrenaline builds up, and you just want to fuck this. Yeah, I just want to yell, dude. I want to yell into a big crowd. I go super saiyan in my fights. I do. I, I wish I could. I like... <laughs> I mean, it's more like Great Saiyan Man, but and shit like that. <laughs> and fucking just fight people Come. off, and I think that's gonna be the coolest thing to do in a video game. So I don't have to go to jail anymore <laughs> for going Super Saiyan three. It has been your 18th time, so you need to stop hitting. I people. just can't yeah, stop right. fighting. <laughs> 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 can't and stop. Won't stop. I, we're only bringing up Dragon Ball Fighters because. Marvel vs. Capcom. You know those? Remember, remember those games in the arcade? Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, remember Pokémon? Mm-hmm. Those games suck mm-hmm. yeah. objectively. And <laughs> 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 right now, Marvel vs. Capcom, they kind of did the whole. Well, we're gonna make this a, a video game movie fighting game. And the X Men's not a thing right now, so we're gonna remove all the X Men characters and we're gonna replace them with the Inhumans, whatever the hell they're called. I'm a barf. Yeah, and then Pokin's like we're Pokin. So everyone's hopes right now <laughs> are for Dragon Ball Fighters and Pokin sold well on the Switch, though. It did so well I didn't for like the Switch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> not in general. Not in terms of uh, building up a fighting game community. I think I don't. Not a big one, at least. Maybe but, the next Pokemon would be good for fighting. Pokemon 2 might, but they have very little. At least for me, my biggest complaint is they have like 
20 Pokemon for a, for Pokemon, which has like 750. <laughs> like that's just a, it's a really small roster. It's extremely small, and it yeah. could be better. They haven't got the best, like the most pot. They got a Charizard, you got Mewtwo, you got Pikachu. How much is yeah. Smash? How many are in Smash? Like 30 something? 60 something? 58. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Dragon Ball's fighters, they keep dropping new characters like that. Yeah. Every two weeks, it seems right. the roster just keeps growing. And one it's is an original. Amazing. One is an original character, so they're going to actually add an original story to this, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. Rather than because, like, so I played the recent uh, Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse games, mm-hmm. and those are just excuses to reminisce, literally. Like, like so, the sole story is that the f- past has been changed. Like, like so, for instance, in it where Raditz. Or like Goku like held Raditz, so Piccolo could do the special beam cannon and kill him and Goku. Green it's like Raditz got out of it and only and then Piccolo only killed Goku. Like stuff. It's like oh well, I gotta change the past. But it's just it's just for you to to reminisce. This is gonna be different. They added an Android twenty one who people want to fuck also. Uh, cause yeah, it's, I'll just show you later. Um, but there's gonna be a brand new story, and as you said, they're adding characters and they're making the stuff not only like they're adding the characters, they're making it canon to the story. Okay. Like and and adding and also adding like. Because it's like an anime-ish game like BlazBlue, they're actually adding like source material. So like stuff from the actual scenes of Dragon Ball Z, they would put in as some of the fighting game, like like the ending sequences. Like Trunks does this thing where he like, he, like holds his sword behind him. He did this blast thing after he like killed Frieza. Mm-hmm. And that's a move. And it's the same thing. And then if you show like side by side with the show, it's fuck, It's like, like it's just, identical. It, right, oh, yeah. Beautiful. Exactly. It's pretty cool. Beautiful. Um, I like that. I, and I, well, so I feel like both of those things. So if you add... DBFZ's fighting mechanics where it's Marvel versus Capcom 3 where it's 3v3 and the ridiculousness that can happen with that and basically the zero to death combos that'll probably come from it and then you add the attention to detail and adding the classic characters that Pokken didn't get mm. you have a game that is meeting the needs of both of those in 2018 and basically those games are going to be played until DBZ, DBFZ comes out and then everyone's going to drop those games like a fucking bad habit well said yeah that fan base has been around since the 90s <laughs> oh dude forever and even it's if you go easy. to far as ja- Japan it goes back to the 80s easy money yeah. so we got to the 45 minute mark we yeah at- we have Cuphead yeah hour long videos just oh, yeah. YouTube, YouTube's no no unfortunately Holding my tongue on YouTube. Uh, yeah, that was a whole other. Cuphead, SNES Classic, uh, Xbox Gold, and PlayStation Plus. Mm-hmm. So it's between the SNES Classic and Cuphead. Mm. And, okay, unless you, because uh, we're gonna be. Are you, do you want to get Cuphead? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so we're we streaming that. Yes. Friday. So we can talk I'd about like it to then. see that. And then I don't know why I have a big smile on my face. We'll have our true, true <laughs> thoughts on that in forty-eight hours, probably. So. Or have our true thoughts on that tomorrow, mm-hmm. fr- Friday, because today is Thursday. <laughs> Weird. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thursday already? It yeah. Is, yeah right? Wow, that quick. Okay, I didn't hear you. Did you say Xbox Gold? Xbox Gold. It's member. a membership. Oh, okay. It's yeah. Just, it's, just it's just the same as okay, PS Plus. Okay. Imagine right. Microsoft woke up every morning with a cup of Joe. They're like, hey, beautiful. We have games for you. The voice wouldn't be as raspy. It's just my voice right now. Okay. And they're free. Some from the 1st to the 15th. Some from the 15th to the 30th. Oh. And then Nas. Yeah. The PlayStation, they do the same thing also. Okay. So, and we like to Fine. show people the greatest in discounts that help them save money. They're the Starbucks to my Pete's coffee. Yeah. What the hell is Pete's coffee? Yeah, that's right. What the hell's I don't <laughs> I drink coffee twice a week. So what the hell's coffee? It's just like Pete's coffee. Starbucks. It's like what's the other one? Samoa Joe's? No, fucking Wow. Pete pu, pu, I don't know that reference. Pete's. It's Pete's coffee. Pete's. Pete's, Pete's coffee. Oh, yeah. like the one that's popular in Canada? Sure. Oh, like up it's north. Actually, we have one out here. Oh, yeah, we do. Called? That's actually the one I vi- when I go like hang out with my dad. Mm-hmm. You don't go there. I saw, okay. <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> right, we actually hang out in an alleyway. I think one of yeah. the... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. You got me. <laughs> Boom, suck it. You guys drink coffee <laughs> from an alley. Where you, get, you get tea bags thrown away in trash cans, and then you take that, unwrap it, cut it open with your teeth. You don't need a knife. You're a bum. You use utensils on your body. Oh. And you pour it into like a trash can. Oh. You heat up the under part of the trash can. Okay, okay. Boil it. And you, you like just sniff it. You just sniff it. After it cools down, of course, like yeah, a, and you sniff the coffee beans, like oh. all over your nose. Oh, it's a little bit of crack, a Sounds little bit horrible. of something that's unhealthy. But crack meth. is just cocaine with meth. No, 
that is wet and then warmed up in the microwave. Once again, we have to watch the Boys and Girls Guide to Getting yes. Down. Amazing movie. I, why you, I learned everything I need to know about it. Of Getting Down, as they say. As the <laughs> millennials say. <laughs> to Getting Down. Uh, no, I don't <laughs> know. The Guide to Getting Down. <laughs> <laughs> New catchphrase. Get Down. Hey, let's get, get down. down. Get Down Goblin. Uh, okay, so all right, after much deliberation, I finally have a freaking list. What does that mean? Uh, well, for gold and PS Plus. So What's we can go over that first. Deliberation. Deliberation what is that uh, mean? it's a uh, it's a uh, it's the thing that they like they put on your heart and then you live. You know, We're trying to educate people. What is deliberation? Oh, mean? it means it means debating. It means talking with yourself and and, and discussing things with with two or saying, more parties. What a defibrillator is. I, I, you don't know how to I, say I, the defibrillator. Defibrillator. Yeah, you can't talk. You had there's a Hitman video of you literally mispronouncing defibrillator for like like 20 minutes. <laughs> That's a hard word for me. I can't say I can't say Kansas. I can't say heart. I can't say defibrillator. You did not. Yeah, you, you said the first two. Okay, the last one. You Can you say defibrillator instead of diagonal? I say heart. Weird when I say. Yeah. You say diagonal. I say heart. Hired. 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 I think you watch too much Trailer Park Boys. It's, it's just the enunciation of it. <laughs> okay, so with Games with Gold, gold. we've got, because this is actually the gold. not gold. as impressive gold. one. Gold. 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 It's gold. gold. Keep going. Uh, we've got Gone Home, gold. the console edition. Gold. <laughs> then we have the Turing Test. Gold. gold. <laughs> and we have Rayman 3 HD. Gold. gold. In the Middle of Honor, Airborne. Gold. All right, and then for PS Plus. Gold. <laughs> we have the immaculate, in my opinion, Metal Gear Solid Five for free. Snake Go get eater. that. Go get that. <laughs> 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 Almost. <laughs> uh, then the Amnesia Collection, which I think we are actually going to be playing on the channel. That's also a Justin Timberlake song. Yeah, I just that just came in my head. Amnesia. It's a Justin yeah. Timberlake song. Amnesia. Everything with it, wait till it goes. Where did it go? Is that the next 2020 album? Maybe. Yeah. If that's that one, I haven't I haven't listened to that one as much. Yeah, as the first no, one. it's a good that. song. Okay. I just listened to Never Mind. Let's continue. <laughs> Never. That's a weird song. Drunk girls. Yeah, sorry. Never mind. Drunk and hot girls. I uh, can't drink you away. I got shots. I got beer. I got all I'm living with. The live performance is crazy. Okay, continue. Tell me, sorry. Tell me, how we gonna make a hot? <laughs> oh man we'll play that okay go okay so we got Riggs Mechanized Combat League mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell that is is that that giant it sounds like a giant robot game it's like the robot soccer game for PlayStation VR ah okay okay that's what I thought it was wasn't sure uh, that's you for a PS Plus bonus mm -hmm. uh, then Monster Jam Battlegrounds for the PS3 okay Hustle Kings for the PS3 Hustle Kings Hugh for PS4 and Vita, uh -huh. and then Sky Force Anniversary for the PS4 Sky and Vita. Force. <laughs> That's all we got on that. It's a force going to roll through the skies on a horse. Sky Force. Sky Force. Going to find the way to portray the enemy. Huh? Sky Force. Uh, Sky Force. Got to get through huh, and find the world where wings here. Yeah, Sky Force. Sky, Sky Force. Force. It's free because it's a bad game probably. Probably most likely. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound very good. So uh, the SNES, do you remember the NES Classic? Mm-hmm. Remember the pre-order and and lack of uh, unit fiasco that happened? How like they just sold out so quickly? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how we played all those games anyway? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say on yeah, this. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that is a drunk thought from Toki. No, hey, I, if you can't I mean... find an SNES or NES Classic, buy a Wii for like 40 bucks. Go to YouTube. Play what you want to play. I mean, you we got five minutes. So if you want, if we want to like dive into this one, oh, this is our fun. chance. Yeah. All right. This is the only way to play the old NES games. SNES games. It's the only way. <laughs> it's not. It's the only way. It's the Therefore. It's the only way if you like spending money. Therefore, it's fine that people are freaking out of it going out of stock again. And they want to play Star Fox 2. The game they've been longing to play. They've been longing to play. Longing. All these people, these mm. Nintendo yes. fans. The unreleased. Longing to play. Forever. Feels like Star Fox. I can't just... believe I never went one year of my life without hearing about Star Fox Two. Do you it's know been that? Ages since I played you know Star Fox. I did not know. No, that. I, I can't believe. Wait, are you serious? I can't believe everyone just never stopped talking about Star Fox Two. Oh man, ever really? 
ever. Are, I'm being 100% no, sarcastic. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, I, I caught on to it after all. a while. I was like, all right. I was like, I was like, how? I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what NeoGAF threads are you fucking diving <laughs> into? You just, this is the game. This is the one. <laughs> it's a game, all right. Is it? It's a, it's a game. It's bad. It's. It's not bad. It's just a selling point that people are all FOMO about. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I, that definitely. There's Jesus. no doubt about that Fair shit. Me. Yeah, there. There's no doubt that people are. That was the biggest sell for this, in a way. For me, who is a S E N S S blah 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 S N E S apologist because I grew up on the system and I'm very nostalgic for it and I want to play a few games I've never played. Mm-hmm. Cool. Those are my excuses. But I'm a Nintendo cuck, and that's my. That's the truth. <laughs> uh I played Star. We played Star Fox Two on the channel. Yeah, that game has interesting ideas. Yeah, whether sp- it's like a bad ROM or whatever, or not, it just <laughs> it's something, man. I, it, it's just something. It, it's Godspeed to the people that play the original SNES Star Fox, also because it's just not for me, and I just don't think it should be the selling point for the SNES Classic. And then once again, I don't think people should be wasting their money on a goddamn NES or SNES Classic unless it's the GameCube Classic because these games are not on the older yeah. consoles, which is so the Wii U for well, some you're, reason. Unless you're like a collector. Like if, you, if you're somebody who's just like, I'm interested in old video game yeah. hardware and less about the software yeah. and, and playing the software, yeah, that's, this is definitely something you should get for 80 bucks. That's like, why I hated people nice. complaining about it. I was like, but you fucking bought it. Yeah. Like, oh, I can't, my, like, it won't reach me. I was like, you fucking better make it work. There's not a lot of these. You got one of the only 30 that you didn't have to kill anyone over and target for. It's just weird, man. It's weird that Nintendo still has the gall Mm -hmm. to give you a virtual console in a few months from now that's going to probably make you pay 5 bucks, 10 bucks for games that have been out for damn near over 20 years. Yeah. And and yet they're still also releasing an SNES Classic for $80 with 30 games on that. $80. Going $80. It should have been the price of a video game. It should have been 60 I totally fucking At agree. Least. Maybe even 50 yeah. Like, 50 would be would be acceptable for games that old. Oh, here, you mind if I, you know. Yeah, because um, even... I thought emulation was taboo up until the point I found out my sisters use emulators. <laughs> like, that's all I was like. This shit is not something that we have to... Fucking write the Jesus fish in the sand for, yeah. and be like, "Oh, we're doing this <laughs> in their back, so you don't get like banned from Twitch or whatever." Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's an openly done thing that Nintendo is trying to stop. But I feel like the release of these two classics is their way of combating emulation. And as a pirate, you're not going to stop those people. <clears throat> Absolutely, <laughs> I don't emulate like anything. <laughs> well, this is like this is like the Kazaa thing, right? Mm-hmm. Like, it's... fuck you, Lars. <laughs> It's there's so many people that are going to want basically getting these games for free like ROMs. Mm -hmm. It's just inevitable. It's inevitable that there's going to be an audience for that. And it's like in a way, if you're Nintendo and you feel or see that you're actually losing money Mm -hmm. and you're staying this persistent for years, in a way, that's sort of admirable. But it it comes off more ignorant than anything it, yep. it, because because they don't sell these games for the prices and that's the dispute is people wouldn't be getting these games for free if you were offering these games for what the prices should be which is if you're giving me super mario bros mario. like level yeah. world 1 yeah. 1 da 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 da, da sit like 99 cents yeah. i'm not even kidding dude yeah. like that's a, like 75 cents i could even go as low as like that game is is 30 plus years old. Yeah. Why are you selling that for $5 and expecting people to buy that crap? That's garbage. You put that shit on your phone. That's like Super Mario. I saw it too on my phone, dude. Yeah. Super Mario Run didn't even last, dude. It got, they got some <laughs> updates. There's Daisy in it now or some bullshit. Oh, but. Daisy. Daisy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm off Daisy? Yeah, yeah I, Daisy. I am Daisy. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait shit. to... I played. I like Super Mario Run, though. I, I slap people in the face <laughs> that say they don't like that game. Oh, I like that I game. I love that game. <laughs> It's a good. I, I just think it's what in God's name. Mm-hmm. I, I I I press some things on my phone apparently. Um, I like that game. Super Mario is fun, but it's not worth the money. Nope, not at all. Oh boy, what are we gonna stream today, boys? <sighs> maybe PlayStation Shuffle or maybe Amnesia. Amnesia. Mm-hmm. Tuned in to find out. As the world turns. Come back. This is being t- posted on Twitter right Maybe now. Come back. <laughs> 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 
Uh, Eloy, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter, Yole underscore Valentine, ranting and dancing and Slam. hitting the fucking doobie scoop dop doobie dop. You're smoking doobies? And scoop scoop doop doop oh, scoop doops. Oh, skirt burps. The burp skirp. Skirp burp skirp 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 burp skirp. Perma burp skirp. <laughs> Yes. I don't think anybody would look up Zach Mooney, Zach Mooney, Kyle Mooney, Kyle Mooney, Kyle Mooney, weed dealer or something. Anyway, go. <laughs> Sorry. I hey man, we got an know, audience. I don't we got it. <laughs> Kyle Mooney, he's on uh, SNL. He's on SNL. Yeah, curly haired dude, Jewish oh, as shit. It's like, oh, this, the perp scrub. <laughs> I got the perp scrub. Oh, oh, now okay. I mean, yeah, you gotta see it. Yeah, no, you gotta I just, see it. I just show it to you. It's really. Fun. There's some videos we just show you. I, I would show you amnesia, uh, not uh, 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 amnesia. Uh, yeah. No, oh the you know no, the Justin Timberlake. Song. Yeah, that one. Yeah, we were gonna play that. Anyways, one. Toki, where can they find you? You can find me streaming such things as How Do Gut a Fish on Toggle. <laughs> no, Twitch.tv slash That's no IRL stream. And then you can find me on Twitter talking about things such as which M and M's are the best. Easy answer. It's the crunch one. Oh, dude, you said the exact right answer. Uh, Tokalurk 1-5 and bad inputs because uh, I'm making adjustments to uh, social media. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, where can they find you? You can find me on twitch.tv slash bad inputs. N, inputs with an N. With, for, an, with an I? No, with, not with an I. No I. Okay. It's, it, we're hip. We don't like vowels when you're hip. Fuck vowels. Yeah, fuck yeah, vowels, dude. Fuck I would call it bud, bud inputs. <laughs> But but we couldn't do that because it just sounds it sounds too dumb or too good actually. I'm sorry. Too good. <laughs> Improv, go. Oh my god. Keep going. Uh, uh, I just didn't yeah. expect it. Uh, and then I'm also on Twitter at the Ferg Nine One, where I talk about smash things and and life and my own issues and bullshit that's this stuff. And now we have 280 characters, so now you get to see more of my bullshit. Yeah. Yay! Where can they find it? Oh, wait. We've said everybody. They so found we're all done here. Uh, they found us. Uh, so if you want to you want to go to Bad Inputs YouTube channel, you can see us surfing USA like this motherfucker was doing earlier. Nice. Oh, you stopped. You stopped. Nice. <laughs> Dude, I'm all about those transitions, bro. All of that base. No trouble. No trouble. No trouble. Bye. That's my bad. Now we're switched off. Persona 5 Game of the Year. Did you, um, did you guys edit the... Cooperation thing. Player cooperation thing. Uh, Another microphone part. Of the thing. I forget. Destino. I don't remember. We were like standing up and like doing weird signs and stuff. 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 Doing weird signs.